Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to talk about structural directives in Angular. So if you're not familiar to them, uh, ngif, ng4, ngswitch and so on. There are a couple of different structural directives that Angular comes with in hand. So in our case, we're going to generate a new directive. So let's name it generate directive. We're going to call it hidden. So in this case, we're going to have a similar logic as the ngif. Just to make it easy for us, uh, let's jump into it. So the hidden directive that we have, the first thing we want to do is essentially we want to have an input, which essentially should have the same name as so app hidden, just trivial to have the same name as you have up here. And here we're going to set set the hidden value, or we could just say is hidden, false. Um, and we want to have the element ref here, so this L ref. Let's see, sorry, it should be template ref, and then we are going to say template ref, and we're going to give it the type of any for now. We do not know the type, so private view container ref. Um, so after importing the view container ref, view container ref, we should be pretty much good to go. So we can say ng on init, so it should implement uh, the on init. We don't need the, we could have the own changes as well. I think they might be trivial. Uh, let's see here. We don't implement, might be good to spell it correctly. So implement the interface here. So now we have the interface. We also want to implement the on changes interface. So now we have two uh, interfaces here we can utilize. Um, so in the engine in it, there's a couple of, uh, essentially one easy thing we want to do. So let's create a function here. So we make it private show or hide container so we can say if this hidden so this is hidden then we want to uh, set the container if we want to clear it if it's not we want to create the the embedded view and we want to attach the template that that we pass in essentially where we it's the template ref in this case will reflect wherever we place the directive to be at so we want to First and foremost, call it on ng on init, and then we also want to call it on changes. And we also want just to make sure that we only call it when is hidden is changed. So we can say if is hidden, then we know for a fact that that has been changed, and then we can run it here. All right, so now we could just attach it. So keep in mind we need to have the same name, so app hidden. So attaching it here, we could have app hidden true and it should be gone, we should have up hidden false, and it should come back, and not twice, this is a bit strange, so we need to look into that. In this case, I think the issue is that we're, being, we're triggering it essentially twice with the ng on changes and ng on init, so let's just go ahead and, and remove the ng on init from this case. Uh, saving this, and as you might know, the ng on changes is being triggered in before the ng on init, so in this way, let's store whatever we have. Seems like we have some issues with prettier. Um, Alright, so if we set it to be true, it will be hidden. If we set it to be false, uh, sorry, false, then it should be shown to us. So we have essentially created our own ngif for some strange reason. Uh, just imagine what you can do with it. You could mutate the content with the directive and so on. All right, guys, thank you for watching. All of the best. Bye.